All right, so I had some questions on how to blend E85 and how to really test your uh, E85 fuel for the actual E85 content. So I wanted to do a quick video and show you how to do it. It's pretty straightforward and instructions are right here. On the actual tester, I got the RevXOil.com uh, E85 testing kit. You can get that on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, and it's pretty easy. You fill up to the water line and then the rest you fill up with the E85. As you can see, you gotta get the certified E85 pump. This one's right here on the, on the target, right here on the pump. Because it's E85, um, but not all E85 is created equal, which is why you want to test it. So I'll get right into it. It's pretty self-explanatory. First and foremost, you take your water, you go right to the water line as best you can. I don't use the funnel here because it's pretty easy to pour from the water bottle in. There you go. Hopefully that's showing up well on the camera. After that. Usually you can get away with getting enough E85 without actually having to put your card and all that in there. So I need a smaller funnel, as you can see. Maybe it works well with, a, with the right size funnel. And afterwards, you just take your E85. Make sure, again, your funnel should ideally fit in. You're never going to hold it down. You're just going to squeeze and let go. Squeeze and let go. Squeeze and let go. A little, a little too hard there. Squeeze and let go. Almost full. There we go. Now we're full. All the way to the fill line. Then back to the side. All you do after that, third step, right out of directions here. After you've got your ethanol in there, you just shake it up. Get a good shake. Then you let the water and the ethanol separate each other. It takes about five minutes, so I'll be right back once we uh, get a good separation. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, it's been about a little less than five minutes. As you can see, the gas is the yellower color up top. Hopefully, that's focusing good. I'm trying to find a good angle. Yeah, it's probably best like this. See how it's cloudy down low and then clear up top. Right below that E90 line. I think I went a little high. The gas fill line is right here. See that gas fill line? And I went a little bit above that. So in reality, this is looking like pure E85. I did test this two weeks ago, or last week, and got right on the E85 line. So this is testing out pretty much right at E85. And that's all it takes really to test your fuel. You just have to uh, get the water at the water line, fill the rest with the E85, shake it up and it separates itself right out 